Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup. In fact, I'm not even wearing any skincare and that's because I'm gonna be showing you how I shave my face. About two weeks ago, I posted a picture on my story talking about how I shaved my face and how I haven't done it in a long time and it made my face so smooth and it made the makeup application apply on so well. A lot of people had DM'd me questions about how to do it, where to buy it, and all these other very common questions that I'm gonna be answering today. I have actually not even shaved and shaped my brows just for the sake of this video. So how this video is going to be structured is I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a story and background on how I got into face shaving and then later I'm gonna go through all the five W's and how I feel like that might be the most effective way of answering all your questions and obviously I will show you guys in the how section how I do it. Lastly I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any additional questions which I'll answer at the very end for all the questions that are not covered in my initial portion of the video. So if you're not interested in the story time or whatever, I'm gonna leave a timestamp down here so you can go straight to the questions. But for those who are interested in my background and kind of my story, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I mean, it's not really much of a story, but I did wanna say that I have been face shaving for a very, very, very long time. Part of the reason why I never shared this was because I always thought it was taboo and a lot of people assumed that face shaving was bad for you because there's this conception that hair grows back thicker. However, my background with this whole face shaving and how it started for me was I went back to Taiwan to visit my family in grade six and my mom took me to this hair salon for the very first time to have my eyebrows shaped. And at the time, I've only heard of waxing, threading, and I was building myself up for this really painful experience. But instead, the woman just held up this tiny little face shaver and she started shaping my brows. It was completely painless. It got the job done. When she did it, I thought to myself, I can do this myself. Waxing and threading, I might not be able to do, but this I can definitely do. So afterwards, I picked up a few of these razors in Taiwan. And from then on, I started shaping my own brows and also shaving my face at the same time. For my friends who have known me my whole life, you guys know that this is how I do my brows. I've never gotten my eyebrows waxed ever. I've never gotten it threaded. I've only ever shaved it with these razors. I think one of the reasons why I was exposed to it early is because these razors are extremely common in Asia and I think Asian stores. When I was growing up in Vancouver, I would always buy it at this store called Daiso. For those of you who don't know what Daiso is, it's basically this Japanese dollar store. Everything in the store is around two bucks and then maybe there's like the miscellaneous items that are a little bit more. My mom and I would always get our face shavers from Daiso and then now that Asian culture and like all these other popular Asian stores are now coming to North America, like Muji, Miniso, like all of these places, it is now even easier for you to find these face shavers. Once again, maybe it's more of like an Asian shaver type of thing, but this is how I got started. I know this was one of the common questions. I guess I'll just answer it now. As someone who has done this for her entire life since the sixth grade, I don't think that it really builds up hair. You can look at my face if you think that my hair grows back thicker. That's definitely not something within my own experience. So one of the things is I might not shave my face on a regular basis or all the time consistently but the one thing that is consistent is I always shave and shape my eyebrows so that's something that has always kept with me and when I have more time then I'll work on the rest of my face so anyway without further ado I'm just gonna go into the general knowledge and hopefully answer some of your questions along the way what is face shaving obviously face shaving is what it sounds like um, if just shaving your face. And why do people do this and why is this beneficial is because number one, a lot of people do it because there is what we call peach fuzz on your skin, which is the little, little hair that sticks out, but it's not really that prominent, named after, you know, like literally peach fuzzes. Um, so this is also another form of exfoliation. I talked about it in my April's Favorites video, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you can gently exfoliate your face with some gentle products like gentle face washes, like the Daily Exfoliant by Dermalogica. You can also use items like Eclairsonic, which is what I usually use. These are all 
subtle, more gentle exfoliation methods. Some of the even more aggressive ones could be like face peels and stuff. I would personally think that face shaving is in between like daily exfoliation and the face peel. It's not as harsh as chemical peels and stuff like that, but at the same time, it's not as gentle as something you should be doing daily. So where do you buy the products? I just don't like to spend too, too much on something if it's not necessary. This is one of those things. So if you are looking at face shavers from Muji, and I think they also now sell at Sephora, no, no, no. They are so expensive, and it's not one of those products that you need to buy and spend like 10 bucks on for one item. These face shavers are best purchased on either Amazon, and I will leave a couple of links down below, or you can buy it at, like I said, the Asian dollar stores that I spoke of, try Daiso, try Miniso, stuff like that. I personally have not been to all the other Asian stores except for Daiso, because every time I used to go to Vancouver, I would just stock up. This was before I had Amazon. This was before all the other popular Asian stores have come in. I actually stocked up since first year of university and I'm still going through my pile. So honestly, I haven't had to rebuy them again, but just after doing some research, I realized that Amazon is definitely a good place or Daiso if you guys have that store near you. They're all really great options. You shouldn't be spending more than, I wanna say like, two bucks per razor or like one buck per razor. So if you're spending like an obscene amount, please try looking somewhere else because you do not need to be spending that much money on these razors. Also, these razors, depending on how often you use it, if you also shave your eyebrows and you shave your face, honestly, these aren't gonna last you that long, especially if you shave your eyebrows. It's not like tweezing, it will grow back a lot faster. So if you solely rely on shaving your eyebrows, you will be using it every other day, every third day, something like that. So once again, this is not something that you should be spending a lot of money on. So the next part is when should you be shaving your face and how often? I personally like to shave my face in the morning before I get my makeup done because this is when I spend a lot of time looking at the mirror at my eyes and doing my brows and doing my eyeshadow. So this is usually the time when I notice stray hairs from my eyebrows and also some other parts of my face. So I like to do it in the morning. I would say that the minimum time you should wait between the next face shave should be at at least seven days. I think that you could wait up to a week and a half, two weeks. Those are like the earliest timelines. If you realize that like, oh my God, there's actually a lot of buildup, then you can start shaving your face. If you want to maintain it, obviously I think the most ideal situation is if you shave it like once every one and a half weeks or once every two weeks. Okay, so now getting to the how of how to shave your face. Before I show you the razor, I just wanna let you know that this is not the razor that you should be buying. There is a type of razor, I will leave a picture here, that is great for people who are starting out because it's sharp enough, but it has these preventative measures within the blade that protects you from really cutting yourself. Like I said, I stocked up on my razors early in university. Back then, the only place I knew where to get it was Daiso. I wasn't sure how often I would be going back to Vancouver, so me and my mom just stocked up completely. At the time, they ran out of those safer ones. The razor I got looks like this, and it literally, looks like just a blade. For me, I'm okay with it because like I said, I have been doing this since I was in grade six. So I'm honestly like used to any type of razor now. However, for you guys, like I can't stress this enough. If you're starting out, please do not get what I have. I just don't have the proper one with me, but please get the ones that I have left in my link. The method of how you shave does not change. And also the effectiveness also does not get impacted at all. Once again, this was just out of desperation because I didn't have the right razor. So please don't get these. So the way that I shave it is I shave it on dry, clean skin, meaning I have washed my face. There is no skincare on it at all and it is dry. So I did a little bit of research just to make sure I'm not like saying crap <laughs> or like saying something that is controversial. There are a lot of people who swear by shaving on dry, clean faces just like me. However, there is this one dermatologist who apparently said that it is better to put some cream on your face, still a clean face, but then putting some cream on your face and shaving with that. I do not like that because personally, I think that when you have product on your face and you're shaving it, you're not really sure if you're actually getting everything. And on top of that, I feel like the chances of cutting yourself is actually a lot higher when you use any type of cream. Like I said, this is just a method that I have been using ever since I was little. It seems to be working fine. So if you guys wanna follow along, do it this way. If you guys are more interested in the face shaving method with cream, cream and stuff, please look at another video or I think there are blog posts that talk about shaving with 
cream. But in this tutorial, we are doing it on a dry, clean face. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom up on my face. I'm just trying to also angle the mirror so that you guys can see. As you can see, I have a lot of eyebrow hair that I haven't shaved off because like I said, I was waiting for this to build up so I can show you guys. Also, excuse my nails. These are my quarantine nails. So how I like to start shaving my face is very simple, just from top to bottom. I also like to do my eyebrows separately. I will typically start with the face shaving and then I'll get back to doing the eyebrows. The key is really making sure that you pull your skin up so that it's tight. And then the strategy here is you just wanna be slowly scraping. You should be hearing this scratchy sound. And also I just wanna mention that the most delicate part of your face that is I feel like the hardest to shave is around your cheek area because normally the forehead is a little bit tighter than this part which is like you know where all the flabby cheeks are so this part definitely really working on pulling your skin tight but the forehead should be fine I usually don't really do that much with it anyway enough talking let me just get shaving so honestly it doesn't really matter like at what point you start but you just go like this I also have a lot of baby hair so I like to clean this up and I'm not sure if you can see the buildup on this. I don't think you guys were able to see the buildup that clearly, but you can already see a lot of dead skin that was already coming off. And I'm gonna leave a tissue here so I can wipe off all the dead skin and show you guys at the end exactly what we're getting. Even from that little bit of stroking, you guys could see a lot already came out with the dead skin and also with your hair. Make sure that while you're shaving, you're also continuously wiping off your blade just so that there isn't a large buildup and it could make the shaving not as sharp and that could be dangerous. Okay, so that was pretty much the face portion of shaving my face. As you can see, that didn't really take that long. This only took me about eight minutes, but like I said, I've been doing this for a very long time. There are certain areas that I realize after doing it that I actually avoid. Some of the areas include this part, like I definitely don't shave my nose. I also don't really shave this part around the eye. I will definitely not shave. It's just the skin is really, really sensitive. And also I feel like it's just, there isn't even that much hair or whatever. So this part I generally avoid in terms of the shaving, especially when I have this razor. Like I said, I really need to finish the stock and then get the other razors. Please be very, very careful. If you guys want to practice, you guys can practice maybe like the forehead or like the top of your eyebrows first before you go on to the other areas. I also think it is easier when you do it yourself instead of like 
I was trying to make sure that everyone can see everything. But yeah, so that was pretty much like only the face portion. And now I'm gonna show you how I do my eyebrows as well. With my eyebrows, same thing. The key here is making sure you pull your skin back. And I just go. So that's how I shape the bottom part. As you can see, some of the stray ones that are a little too close to my eyelid, I will avoid because I will just use tweezers for hairs like this one. But the ones that are just right under here, I definitely use the razor. And then now going on to the top, I kind of did a little bit, but this is how I shave the top. So that should be clean compared to this one. And once again, I will show you guys how I do this one. So really, really pulling your skin back. So there we go. That was pretty much the entire process. Once again, practice makes perfect. I also just want to show you guys the peach fuzz that I have collected. So this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but you can also see a lot of dead skin and obviously the black is hair, but the little crumbly parts that are with the hair is all dead skin. Guys, I just want to tell you also that this is not one of the processes that you need to be a perfectionist over. If you are thinking like literally every aspect of your entire face or whatever, number one, it might take a really, really long time. Number two, you might injure yourself. Just honestly get the main part. Now that I've showed you the head I'm just gonna answer some of the questions that you guys had sent over on Instagram. Honestly, the most common question was, does your hair grow back thicker? Like I said, I never really noticed that it grew back thicker. It just still grows back. So you just have to keep on shaving your face. But definitely for me, it didn't grow back thicker. The answer is no. <laughs> um, ooh, so I like this question. What not to do? One, don't buy the razor that I'm using. Buy the safer one. Um, it still, like I said, works the same. Another trick is when you are holding the blade, hold it at an angle, never hold it perpendicular to your skin. So what I mean is if it's like this, don't hold it like that. Always come at it at an angle and always glide down your skin. Don't ever poke at your skin and scrape. It should always be just a gliding motion. And the last thing is if in case you cut yourself, because like I said, this is gonna be a new process for a lot of people, put like cold water on it and then also put some polysporin and try to avoid that little area for a little bit, especially if this is your first time or if you're trying it out. I really, really suggest practicing on some of the easier areas of your face first. So some easy areas are like, this part right here should be really easy. Also like this side part should be very easy and get used to that motion of the razor on your skin before you go on to the harder parts of your face. Does removal of facial hair result in the same side effects of shaving? Yes and no. Your skin is definitely going to be really dry after you do this. So make sure you moisturize after you do this process. Make sure you still continue to do your skincare. As long as you do this and continue and keep up with your skincare routine, that is just what I really recommend personally. Will I grow a stubble after? Um, no, you won't. I've already done this area so many times and it's just continues to be peach fuzz. So I've never really noticed that it's a stubble unless if you guys do. I will even zoom in for you guys to analyze. but this is the product of someone who's been doing it for a long time. I don't know, I don't really notice. I feel like it is darker a little bit,
have you tried facial waxing instead which do you prefer i have not tried facial waxing i feel like to me it's a little bit more pricey and i'm just not used to the process maybe i'll try it and see what the comparison is but right now i can't really answer that question is face shaving removing hair or dead skin or both definitely both this is why people exfoliate um oh do you have any acne after i have this pimple right here but this was not from face shaving i personally don't notice that you get pimples but like i said i think it has a lot to do with your aftercare the face shaving itself i don't think will give you acne but i do think that if you don't take care of it because right now your skin is more exposed i think that if you don't moisturize properly and if you don't put on the proper aftercare on your skin i do think that it could be a possibility i always put on moisturizer every single day so that's never been a problem for me okay so that's actually all the questions on this because most of them are about does the hair grow back thicker and stuff so i've already answered that that's pretty much it on the face shaving video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative and if you have any additional questions that weren't covered today make sure you leave a comment down below and i will answer it there so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye